On behalf of uh, Dhananada Temple, I humbly welcome Dr. Vigas Nilagandan Nambudiripar, the youngest among the lot from the Ikatumana, who were the Tantrics and Acharyas for doing the Pratishtha for the temple. I humbly welcome you, sir. <laughs> so, uh, regarding the, it was a long process for us, like from starting from the days. And also, it's like, uh, it's a very rare and once in a lifetime moment for people like us, but I don't know for you, for you people, you are like tantrics and acharyas for a lot of temples. Yes. You people have come across such things in a, a few it times. Was, in it was also a very unique experience for us also. Okay. Because um, like for, for me at least, because I am doing this tantric practices for the last uh, uh, say 15 years. Okay. But in, in this, time frame this is the first time i am able to to be with a temple from its very beginning state normally we do the rituals and pujas at temples which are already established by our ancestors mm -hmm. and uh, they have already a system in place but this is the first time where we can be with the conception of that that idea and then be with that and uh, to develop with that, that is a first time and a very satisfying, unique experience. We are so. also very much <laughs> like honored to have, because it's, it's dream, dreams will be there for a lot of people, but to make it a reality. So I, I, I really thank my father, Dr. T.P. Jagrishna also for that, to be part of this great dream. Absolutely. And we, we were all there for to make it a reality. So. So. In the, in the uh, laws of Tantra, the most important thing about anything is Sankalpa. Sankalpa means a thought with a purpose. So here this temple is this um, structure, but the seed of this temple lies in uh, Dr. Sir's uh, okay. Sankalpa. Sankalpa. So that Sankalpa is the, it was the strength for the temple, it is the strength for this temple and it will be the strength for this temple because as long as that Sankalpa is there, this temple will do its purpose for the, the whole world. Okay. So I also humbly uh, do my pronouns to Dr. T.P. Jagarshan sir for that strong and pure Sankalpa. Okay. Uh, regarding the Dhananada temple, sir, if you can just give a few words because what is the basic purpose, what all deities are there yeah. and how it will be useful to the common public. Yes. So this temple which we fondly named as Dhananatha temple, just like the letters of that word Dhananatha, there is uh, in, in Sanskrit there are four letters in that yeah. word. In the same way, our temple also has got four deities that are um, supreme in their own uh, accord. Okay. So, generally this temple is a combination, a perfect combination of two different tantric doctrines that, are, that is prevailing in India. One is called the Autaraha Sampradaya or the Northern Discipline and the next one is called as the Dakshinatya Sampradaya, the Southern Discipline. So, here in this temple, by the grace of gods and our ancestors, we are fortunate to combine this Autara and Dakshinatya to form a temple doctrine that is pure and uh, which is preserving its legacy. At the same time, it is much more useful to the public uh, in an extended way than a normal temple will, will function. Okay. So that is the, the peculiarity of this, this temple in that sense. So we have four deities, um, Lakshmi Vinayaka, uh, Lakshmi as Kanakadhara, Krishna as Raja Gopala and Kubera. So uh, as we all know, Kubera temple is very rare among in Kerala. Yes. And also Kubera along with other deities and also facing towards the southern direction, mm -hmm. that is 
uh, in our knowledge it is only uh, yeah. in this temple, in this temple. because um, as we know the each deity has got a particular uh, dharma or purpose in in this temple structure when we consider a temple it is for the people for what for the happiness of the people happiness will always come with the purusharthas so if you want to be happy you should attain the purusharthas the first purushartha is dharma so the temple worship it itself is a dharma so once that dharma is uh, the then the next purushartha or maybe according to uh, kautilya the most important purushartha is artha artha, artha is uh, wealth yeah. so this temple is for uh, it's not just for dharma it is for dharma artha kama and moksha mm -hmm. and uh, in this sense the artha is very important because without artha it is difficult for uh, other purusharthas to be attained or maintained so uh, in this concept we have this four uh, details okay. first one is lakshmi vinayaka lakshmi vinayaka is vinayaka is the one uh, the the word means the one who directs us lakshmi vinayaka means the one who directs us in the way of prosperity okay so lakshmi is there vinayaka is there vinayaka will guide us direct us towards lakshmi lakshmi so it is it is very important for a normal person because he for a successful li living he or she should find ways to attain wealth to sustain wealth and to increase wealth yeah, so vinayaka will remove all the obstacles in the path and direct us towards where the wealth actually is okay. uh, that will be different for different people but for each person when they came to the dhanatha temple and bow down in front of vinayaka that idea of right direction will come to their their mind, mind. that is the uh, lakshmi vinayaka then the first they will uh, worship lakshmi vinayaka then they will worship um, kanakathara kanakathara is um, Uh, in that uh, stava of kanakathara adi shankara is asmin akinjana vihanga shishav nishanne so kanakathara is the one when akinjana means one who has got nothing one who can be considered as a daridra so for that person that poor person what he need as first is wealth because that is why vivekananda swami vivekananda says that you need to have something then only you can do the tyaga okay. the Give entire up. yeah the entire concept of sanatana dharma or vedic dharma is based on tyaga but to do tyaga you should have something, something. <laughs> so so that will be the first step of to to do tyaga so lakshmi will shower her worship okay. that is kanaka dhara okay. that is a shower of worship because lakshmi is mother mother doesn't know to to limit something when when it when she is giving when to her children it. so that worship of of wealth that is the the purpose of lakshmi that is what we hear in the in the process we call as dhanavahini also vahini means a pravaha yeah. a flow like wealth is um, important when it is uh, when there is a flow that is associated to the wealth when it is coming in a flow uh, people will be able to do great things with wealth so that is the purpose of lakshmi then there is uh, krishna as rajya gopala gopala means the shepherd so rajya gopala means the shepherd of the kings mm -hmm. or he is the king among the shepherds shepherd. and the shepherd among the kings. kings so he will because once we have wealth still we we are only uh, human beings we doesn't know we we can be a uh, misled we can misuse the wealth there is a very a high very chance thing, yes right? very important yeah. thing. the wealth can also be used for a lot of uh, devilish purposes so that is where krishna's worship come in handy because krishna as he is a shepherd just he will take us in that uh, right, right path as we are the fox the sheep uh, he will take us or the we are the cows he will <laughs> take us he is the gopala he will take us uh, in the right path so we will be able to use our wealth properly Perfect. because if not using well wealth is a burden uh, it is not a, a positive thing it will be something as a burden 
so gopala raja gopala directors even if you are kings he will direct us how to use that wealth properly proper way yes and then the bhakta the devotee will come to to kubera kubera is is nithipati he is the one who holds the patma nithi and the shankha nithi the material wealth and the immaterial wealth so what he does is that once you are using the wealth in a right path directed by raja gopala then that wealth will begin to increase the abundance will be there abundance. because once the wealth is used in the right direction kubera vitesha will bless us with abundance then we will have more than more than more than enough wealth and then the the same pattern will follow so a poor person when he is coming to dhanavatha temple the deities here will bless him in such a way that he get a plan to come out from that that poverty situation because a poverty may it is behind the it is one of the main reason behind all the atharma all the evil so once a person come out from that then that is the time when he can directly go towards moksha or something of a higher spiritual sense true, true. so just as we said this temple will give any person enough wealth so that they can be a tyagi they can be a mahatma yeah that is true like a person who is struggling for bread and butter Yeah. this concept of moksha will never come to him because no, no. he he is in that absolutely. struggle absolutely so once he has reached that point of abundance only yeah. that thought process will slowly that, start that is true <laughs> because our culture is like that uh, in the culture of india uh, we have this concept of moksha because we have already abundance, here. abundance. in our olden golden days we have abundance yeah, like abundance. even the even the um, gold was like uh, nothing yeah. here so at that time we have this preference for moksha because the material abundance is there say for another culture or another religion that is coming from a poor background for them their highest purpose is abundance surga like their highest purpose is abundance for us as the abundance is there the highest purpose is moksha. salvation moksha so right now we are not in in such such a situation the pope population and also the country is not in such a situation where we can yearn for moksha for every person True. for that to be happen first we should be strong and we should be self uh, disciplined and self dependent so this uh, temple gives a direction it is an it's a temple it's a worship center it's a place of blessing and also it's a school of financial discipline through which a person can be successful in life because once a person becomes successful he will be able to help other people once all people are getting help they will be able to use their energy and their pratnya their intelligence for much better things for humanity so in that way this temple serves the whole world uh, by helping the individual who is coming to to worship here to pray thank you so let the dhananada Rajagopala, uh, Lakshmi and Lakshmi Nayaka bless us all and have all the <laughs> immense pleasures yes. in their life. Yes, so we are very fortunate to be part of the the temple as the tantric people of this temple, and we consider it as the blessings of our ancestors and all the deities which we worship, and with their blessings we are hopefully. adding the blessings of lakshmi vinayaka kanakathara lakshmi and uh, rajagopala and dhananatha so that we are able to to do our own dharma in a much higher uh, sense of purpose so we are uh, bowing down we are doing a sashtanga namaskar to all the deities and all the great people who are here uh, to bless us for that purpose thanks <laughs>